What's going on, gamers? I mean, miners or something like that. So we're going to be playing games today and doing an AMA. How's that sound? I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. But what's going on here is I am in Ark Survival Ascended. It just released for Ark Survival uh, Evolved, I guess. The new one. And the new map released again, which is actually an old map, but for the new one, if that makes sense to any of you guys out there. And you cannot get into any of the servers. And I got baby dinos on the way, and I don't want them to starve to death and die, as you can see here. Aren't they cute? Look at this guy. Hi, what's going on? Hey, buddy. Give me a little wink. Come on, give me a wink. Okay, he doesn't want to wink at me. It doesn't matter. But, so I'm keeping all the... Oh, there's a massive sandstorm outside, too. This is crazy. Crazy stuff. There's... Oh, yeah. Look, yep, yep. Not looking good. The weather's not looking good right now in the middle of a desert. Bad stuff happening. Bad, bad stuff going on. But this is our base we built. Anyway... Oh, I can't move because it's a storm. I'm getting full of sand. I hate sandstorms. So we're just going to jump back inside here. I'm going to sit back on my little chair here. Go back into hibernation mode, and then we'll start the live stream. So let me just find out where the proper buttons are. I think this one right here should do it. I'll just click this. Yeah, do that right there. Uh oh, my mouse is all messed up. All right, coming into here, coming into there. Bam. All right, things are looking good. We're on normal now. So, yeah, I'm just leaving it there kind of AFK because I'll never get back in. So, yeah, playing some games. Awesome stuff. Maybe I'll go live on the Rabbit Gaming channel later and we'll play some video games because i haven't done a video on that channel for a long time uh without that so let's see what we got in the going on the live chat here let's do a quick roll call we got green hash rud pots mike baldwin what's going on are you coming to join scorched earth or what we almost beat the game on the third day on the map crazy just kidding we're not quite that far yet but oh uh, what's up uh love me some rap money we got some pirate here edwin sparks frank b zagati sadie sometimes the pirate uh oh Where's my button? Buttons aren't working today. This is all manual mode here. Uh, oh, is it on the right one? Yes, it is. Budweiser. 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 All right. Nailed it. Kind of. Scrolling on. Let's add it, see what we got. Mike Vega. Black Sales. Cheap Vlog. What's happening? Brian Daborski. Uh, Chris Hanley. What's going down? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. We got Crypto Perks is in the house. Max M. What's happening? E Rock Duff, what's going down? Bad Cat was playing some uh, Hell Divers by the looks of things. So we got some more gamers out there, you know, using GPUs for intended purposes. Not gaming, but mining. We, we know that. Uh, Crypto Perks, uh, Deacon Lambu, uh, we got Will Lapus, John Francis, aka JFA. What? That, that's. Uh, you changed your name. I know you did. Tommy Coin, what's going on? Peter Pang, what's happening? Still hanging on to Elysium. Nice. BZ Miner is P.O. Oh, Yusuf Puss doesn't like the BZ Miner. Uh, okay, uh, mash them just to fill in time between streams. Oh, Apushi, welcome to the Wolf Pack. Maybe it was the gaming. Should I do more gaming or something? Because looks like people are starting to join the Wolf Pack for gaming content. Just kidding, we're not doing that. Uh, still that, BZ. All right, got to check the other platform here right quick. What do we got here? Uh, I do see Case Rocker and Scafer. What's going on? Let's go. Happy Sunday and happy Sunday indeed. Awesome stuff happening. So, yeah, let's talk about it. AMA, guys, you know, tag me, at me, super chat me, whatever you got to do. And we'll try to answer your questions here. But, yeah, what are you guys mining right now? What are you guys doing? Is wart worth mining? I'm not sure. I have not tried the good old wart coin recently. Um you know, it all depends on the CPU I have by the sounds of things. It also depends on the GPU. I've heard two different variations of how it works. One, it's multi-algorithm, where one, you can just mine on CPUs, or you can just mine on GPUs, or you can mine on both. But it also sounds like, you know, optimal configuration is like a good CPU to two GPUs, not one to like six GPUs, like a normal GPU mining rig. So there's a lot of different weird stuff going on with it, but I haven't played around with it to see how it actually does. Now coming into the mining profitability right now, I don't know if Warthog, yeah, Warthog's added onto here. I don't see it anywhere. It looks like Iron plus Gram has just been rocking the show for a while now. Ever since the hard fork, I guess, and the difficulty adjust, it's been iron plus something. Iron plus Pyron, iron plus Gram, iron plus Husat, iron plus Casper Classic, which Casper Classic is probably one of the funniest launches of any coin I've ever seen as it started off on absolute lies. So, yeah. I don't, I don't really like that one so far, the way they've been running it, but we'll see what happens 
when that all comes around. Um, what's going on here? I can't see. Yeah, you guys can see that. Yeah, so I'm not sure. So I haven't really attempted the Warthog game, but we'll see how that kind of plays out. I'll try to test some stuff out here maybe throughout the week. Grand pools are thieves. Yeah, but it's the thing is, you could try to run your own grand pool, and I guarantee you'll lose money. So that's what's going on with that is um, a lot of these coins, and I think there's another new one out now that's, you know, on other chains, but mining and burning... You re it requires ton. You they burn ton in order to be even be able to mine the gram, and it's very expensive to do so. That's why we're seeing thirty to fifty percent, depending on the pool you're using. I think the cheapest one right now is twenty-five to thirty percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the cheapest is, but maybe it's only thirty percent uh, based on was that ice mining or whatever. But yeah, they have to burn a bunch of ton, which means they got to sell a bunch of those rewards to get the ton to give the payouts to mint the gram and you know there's a whole bunch of stuff and ultimately don't blame the pools i would more likely blame the way the blockchain is working for the proof of work side that's mostly what's happening there now you know unless you actually run your own pool to see how it works for yourself because i don't know i don't know the details in the back end 100 percent, but the pool fees are high on all of them now maybe they are ripping everyone off and they only really need like 10 to 15 percent that could be a thing but until you actually try it for yourself we don't know maybe it actually takes maybe they are only out of like a one or two percent take from the actual miners but it's costing you know that additional 28 percent or something to actually burn that ton that they need so i don't really know what's going on in the background but you know what that's the way it is and if you want gram that's the only way to go about it um Still mining Raven Doge and Vertcoin, making big. Nice, nice. The Raven Doge and the Vertcoin. I haven't. I think I might have mined Vertcoin a while ago, but it's been a while. Have you guys heard about this? You know that all those D-pin projects are popping up all over the place. How about this one? Do you guys know about this one? I do have a link in the description. Um, I'm thinking about trying this out. I'm not sure yet, but you know, I always wanted a weather station. You know, I like the weather. I like watching the weather and paying attention to the weather and see what's happening. I love thunderstorms. I used to do some storm chasing. I took the little one out when she was only like three years old to chase a tornado and our car just got wrecked with hail. But, you know, I got some good pictures out of it. But I, I like to do like storm chase and stuff. I, I don't know. I love weather for some weird reason. But it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I'm thinking about if I was going to get a weather station, may as well get one that earns crypto also. So... You know what? I, I'm thinking about trying this. You know, I don't I have no idea what it's going to earn, what it's going to do. It's more like, an, a, I don't know if it's like on the helium base thing. It's some deep end project here. But Weather XM seems kind of interesting. So, you know what? If you guys want to check it out for yourself, I'm going to give you guys a link right now. Just so you guys can try and check this thing out. I, like, again, I have zero information about this thing. Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe they don't even have legit units for all we know. <laughs> but I'm going to paste this in here. And you guys can check it out if it's something you guys want to possibly check out there. But yeah, I have no idea uh, what this is, but I'm thinking about probably getting it. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. So if we actually go into, where's the products? Products. Engage. Loran, what? So they got the 4G hardware. Buy a station. Okay, we'll just click on that. Click. Engage. So there's a WB1010 Wi-Fi version. So obviously Wi-Fi version. You'll have to link that up to your Wi-Fi to get the internet to that. There's a 4G Lite version, or LTE. I don't know why I said Lite. So there's an LTE version here. So obviously everything's built into it. There's also a Helium Loran version. So I don't know how well this is going to be running off Helium and stuff. I probably wouldn't do this one or this one. But I'd have to look into them. I'm, I'm considering one of these two bad boys right here now. It's $400, $900. That's the thing. I don't know what these things earn or anything, but technically that's still cheaper than some of the big weather stations you can get, which don't earn anything anyway. So, you know, what? I might lean towards this one, but again, I have no idea. It's just something I've been checking out. I've seen it all over Twitter lately. People are talking about it. I was like, you know, what is this? What is this? Um, you know, maybe we should try it or something. No idea. Looks interesting. Hi, Red. The new Avalon Nano BTC miner doesn't have an Ethernet port. It's Wi-Fi. That's, that's the one thing with most of those. They're all Wi-Fi only. I like to run all my stuff on Ethernet because, one, usually we shut our Wi-Fi off at night. So if I shut my Wi-Fi off at night, then everything goes down and I won't be able to mine while I'm sleeping. So um, that's half the 
24 hour period they're gone from no wi-fi so you know obviously i like to run everything hardwired there are some adapters you can get for certain things like the uh what are they called those b those ones from uh bitcoin merch there those little mini btc miners those ones you can actually plug into the ethernet slot uh or into the extra adapter there the USB-C and Ethernet port to get internet to it so you can still run that LAN if you would like uh, my helium XM station works great you have an XM station a helium one toxic miner Oh, you have one of those you got this guy right here that's sweet so this thing's awesome it works good it does what it's supposed to do. what all does it do what information do you get like I was looking at the pictures on this one here let's just select this one Huck was not selecting going on here select there we go so like what happened it has like is it just reading like the local forecast here and then it's telling you your own pressure and everything humidity in your area like off your own sensors so like it gives you everything you need at your very spot location you know that's what i'm interested about you had one for, this thing's over a year old i didn't know that wow okay that's cool <laughs> i was not aware about that these things are over a year old now what do they earn like you know, it's hard to put a dollar value because then the FOMO drive comes in and then everything goes down and stuff like that. But I'm curious, you know, like what token do they earn and what are they earning? Um, had one for over a year. Now mining ice cream with chocolate. <laughs> oh, man, nice. Block, block DAG X100 ASIC miner 2 terahash says you can mine Bitcoin and Casper with it. $1,500 for the miner. I've been hearing about that block deg miner. I don't know. I wouldn't put too much into it. Now, unless it has two separate hash boards, then you could mine one or the other, but you cannot take a Bitcoin ASIC and place it onto a Casper algorithm. The ASICs are designed specifically for the algorithm. They cannot switch algorithms. So they would have to have double chips. So it means chips and built from each side to do that so that or maybe it's more of like an fpga type of thing i don't know uh I, I have been hearing about the block x100 it's been seeming kind of weird to me lately like red flags but that doesn't mean it is so you know i'm gonna look into that more to see you know what this thing's all about but right now it's it, it seems weird <laughs> too good to be true guys to be too good to be true um, how many solutions do you get a day on average with Cubic on your 7950X? Well, it all depends. My workstation so far, it's, it's only sitting at two right now. And it's been however many days. If we go into, I guess, the portal here. Let's see what things are looking like. You know, it's your solo mining. You never know. Some of your worst rigs end up being your best rigs on some weeks and stuff. So right now we can see. Now the dual epics up to 12. This thing was actually losing and then in the last day or two, it shot up. So, you know, it started smashing out some souls uh, when it was losing. So rig 35 here. This one has seven here. This, the rig 35 is, uh, you know what, let's find out what a rig 30. I can't remember which one 35 is. Rig 35 is, is right here. Rig 35 is a 7950X. All right. So the 7950X is rig five. Uh, it has hit seven souls uh rig epic okay. it's beating the epic single epic again we're solo mine we don't know single 7950x is beating the epic but the dual epic is destroying that but in theory if you want to go based on the hash rate and the amount of souls it's finding you know two of these for 25 percent of the price of this guy is obviously be finding 14 which is more souls but this is changing every week we can't use that type of mathematical numbers to dictate oh these are way better because next week it'll be a totally different situation this thing could get quadruple the amount of this rig and it's just you know crazy we have no idea uh what else do we got here we got i see oh i see a 3900x has four uh rig 37 this is a 7950x 3d that one only has three right now so you know you're solo mining who knows what rig's going to hit. The point is you get all your rigs online and hopefully they all hit something is pretty much what it boils down to. And then some of them, hopefully they hit multiple like a few of these we are seeing here. Now, I still have some rigs that have not hit yet. Uh, one of them, one of them is a 7950X. Rig 30, I think, is a 7950X. So it hasn't hit anything yet. It's just luck of the draw on what's actually going to hit at the time. But I guess it is due. It is due. Now, basing it off that, let's just see 10 five six six ten five six six let's do the calculator here ten five six six
10, 5, 6, 6. We're going to calculate this, run it anyway. And, you know, that 17950X there, you know, it has seven souls. Let's see, you know, how much that potentially is making right now. If I was to go to whatever one, what is that? This one? There we go. <laughs> Engage, waiting. So seven souls times whatever it's estimated. So 427 right now. So 4.27, we're going to times that by 7. So technically that one rig has made almost $30 since Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So four days. Divide that by four. It's been doing about $7.47 a day if this is what it works out to be. But remember, some of them have not hit. Some of it way more. It's all about really, you know, when you're solo mining, when you're doing all this stuff, it's all about stacking your rigs and hopefully you can hit as many as you possibly can throughout your entire farm. It's really hard to say, okay, I'm going to buy this one CPU. It's going to hit this amount. It might not hit anything for the entire epoch. So it's it's really hard to calculate that when it does come to a uh, soul smasher <laughs> when it does come to a uh, uh, solo mining stuff. Do you see GPUs becoming more prevalent in cubic? No, GPUs are actually going to get worse over time that's the whole main focus of cubic is the the computations that ai garth needs and running through cubic it's better on cpus now the pools are trying to prop gpus to be better but long term within the next month or two they are going to get worse that that's just facts that's just the way that it is the cubic dev said so himself the pool people said so themselves eventually gpus will be getting a lot worse but right now they're really trying to pump them up and now we did see that big boost on the solutions they did add gpus onto their pool but i don't see any effect of them a lot of people aren't even finding soul so you know it could be fake hash rate i don't know i don't know what's going on there but we're also not seeing in theory we should see the ha network hash rate increase with all this hash rate on the gpus coming in and improved but the network hash rate has actually been going down so you know i don't know what's going on it's not looking like it's i think they're trying to draw in gpus but they're not paying gpus if that makes sense kind of uh in a way so i don't know i don't know maybe it's just another way to get the word out there more all right more cubic talk or something four days no souls see yeah look at lee jack four days no soul so the hat the it's are there but the souls don't seem to be coming in for them so yeah i don't know what's going on but but long term they are supposed to be dropping now there is you know what let's go through something here uh, uh um i don't have discord up like let's we can run through i asked the question a while ago and the solutions pool dev did answer something i'll just try to find it here i'll just move this over here in case some top secret information opens up all right, so I'm going to go into solutions. Is it chat or mining? All right, so I'm just going to, okay, here we are. So I'm going to find where it is. Someone that mentions me. I guess I could use the search option, but they keep changing it, and then I, I can never figure out how to use Discord. So I'm an epic failure. But I do have something here somewhere. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, what's all this? Right here. So you can see right here. Uh, I asked the question. I find it weird, although a lot to learn on how Cubic works, but still the head dev says GPUs will get worse, but pools keep trying to push them, and results keep ending up the same way. They suck even with high ITs. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm just pointing it out here. But uh, GPUs, here's the dev for Cubic Solutions. GPUs will get worse. But with the current optimizations, they might not die until the next two parameter changes. And that sounds to be happening in the next month or two. So you can still squeak a little bit of time. Obviously, it still doesn't make any sense if they're not even finding solutions. Even though they're showing good ITs, they don't seem to be working. But, you know, the point is here, eventually they will get a lot worse than what they currently are. Even though we're seeing a whole bunch of tweaks trying to come into them. But, yeah. Um, now there is another thing actually. I was gonna do a video on this, but you know, maybe I'll just find it. And we'll do this live. Where is oh wrong one? Where is cubic dev wallet support? Where's useful links or something? Cubic links. Is it this the medium? Uh come from beyond. I think this is the article right here. Yeah, so come from beyond did an AMA right here. 
And he's going into a bunch of how can I invest in the AI Garth? Can I talk to it? No. Will it be finished? What do you what does the miner actually train? So here's here's what Cubic's all about, I guess. This is coming an AMA from Come From Beyond Beyond. That is the lead head dev for Cubic and AI Garth. And he goes, What do miner actually train? Miners don't train AI now. They gener uh, they generate artificial neural networks, ANN of certain quality which with are taken by AR Garth and trained. Can somebody create an ASIC to mine cubic? Mining algorithm changes too often. As you know, every Wednesday, this does change every single week. So you can make an ASIC, you get it on by the last day, the next day it's dead. You have to revamp, make a whole new ASIC. It doesn't make any sense for any ASIC manufacturer to make it. Uh, for anyone to risk creating an ASIC, which become useless in a few months here. He says a few months, it could be every week. Uh, most of AI projects use GPU. Why does Cubic use CPU? I wish we could harness the GPU power, unfortunately, as the ANNs, which we saw up here, that AI Garth needs are not parallelizable efficiency enough. So there are different aspects in AI. This question comes up a lot between GPUs versus CPUs for AI, and CPUs are better at certain AI platforms over GPUs, like multifunction, multi-threading or something like that. GPUs are superior at single thread functions and just one object do it all the time but gpus can do multiple different things uh, or cpus can do multiple different things at the same time and there's a whole bunch of other stuff here and you know i'll try to get it all together on a video just like what i tried saying about the differences between a cpu and gpu but that's kind of you know just some basic stuff coming from the dev right there and then in the discord he did mention uh that the gpus will be getting worse here pretty soon here as updates come um, okay, anyway, sell your Zef today. Sell your Zef today. It's up big. What is it really? Let's take a look at mining pool stats. Let's take a look at good old Zef coin. Zephyr, what are you doing? Oh, it's it's not up much. I was hoping like $50 again. It's only like, what is this? That one? Oh, yeah, there we go. See that one good. So we are up 11%. You know, this is nothing. Watch, Zef's going to be over $400 here next year, guys. $400. This is not up big. I'm just kidding. It's not going to go to $400. It might go to $450. It might go to five. I have no idea. It's entire hopium. You know, we're going to see coins pump quite a bit right now. And I feel don't sell your coins unless you see your coin pumping for at least two to two weeks to a month straight. If we see a solid month pump, uh, solid month pump of like 20% gains every single day, we're getting pretty damn close to that all-time high. You better start getting ready to cash in because you're going to have to wait another four years of holding that bag. But, you know, right now, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. They're coming. It's coming. The big bull run, guys. End of the year. We're going to start seeing things really start to do some stuff here. And next year is just going to be insane when it comes to crypto prices. It's just the way the cycle plays out. It's what it's meant to do. Am I still using L L World? L L World? No, I'm not. I'm using whatever the new defaulted one. I think it's Worm, Worm something, which makes zero sense. Why would you use something that use something on the internet that even has Worm in the name? That's something you wouldn't want to do. But that's the one I'm using. I, like, I don't even know what it's called. Maybe I can find it. Uh, pool solutions here. Cubic solutions. Uh, pool temp releases cubic. That's our Q miner. Uh, GitHub Hive twice. Is this it? AkiSoft? It might be Cubic Hive twice. I don't know if this... No, that's not the right one. You know what? I got it in my How to Mine video. I got the updated one I'm using in my first How to Mine where I did use L Word, but I changed all the links around because the setup process is exactly the same to whatever the new one I is, I'm is i using now. So actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different screen here. I'm going to go into my YouTube and find that video and then find the link so I can see which one it is. Uh, cubic, how am I? Where? Nope, no, nope, right here. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to take this pool guide right there. Wallet, Windows Miner, Hive OS Miner. This guy right here. All right. Copy. All right, so this is the one I am using right now. Which one is this? 1.904 days ago so i'm using this one uh yeah worm is the dev of this it doesn't have worm in the name anymore so i'm using the qu cube miner cube miner is the one i'm using that's the latest one in my last how to mine 
video i did that don't get them mixed up though guys there's two different pools they all have their own miners so i do have a how-to for depending on the pool that you want to mine x5 is a rare beast yes it is i don't know how bitmain didn't make very many of those x5s but um you know i don't know if they have a new model coming out i don't know if they're going to have another like upgrade this one with some firmware or what they got planned let's just go to bitmain's website i haven't checked the firmware for a while because i have had it off i want to turn it back on but i've had it off because i'm trying to test some other miners here and i have no power to do all this stuff so i have to turn stuff off to test other stuff and do things uh, but right now let's go to the x my random x we're going to x5 here and yeah there's still no new firmware last one was the end of 2023 so still waiting on that to see if we do end up getting any type of zef support there at all but it'll be interesting uh, that's cube miner. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Q U cube miner, Q U B miner. Uh, the one for the L I pool, but uh, yeah, I'm not using L O world anymore. L O world or whatever it's called. I'm closing in on fish status on Caspa. Nice. How much is that? Where? What's the link for all the different wallets for Caspa? Like the amount of coins you hold. I never could find it. I tried googling it, it didn't work. So, yeah. Anyone know where it is? What it's called? Have you all touched grass? Sometimes. Uh, what about this Avalon Nano 3? I don't even know what that is. Avalon Nano 3. Let's take a look at it. Avalon Nano 3. Avalon Nano 3. White shop cannon. Is this the one you guys are just talking about? It doesn't have the Ethernet port? All right. What is this? What is it? A cell phone? <laughs> cannon. This. Uh, fun black bar cheats. Fun. Is this the right thing? Is this what you're asking about? Avalon Nano 3. Handy and error, ideal temperature and noiseless wind. Save money, save worry. Price from 99 to 129. What is this? Is it a miner? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. $12, 12, 12 cents a day. Plug in heat. Is it like a Bitcoin miner or something? 100 watt for terry hash for real that's pretty insane actually where does it say that where does it have the hash rates on this thing that's pretty neat that thing does blow away all the other solo bitcoin miners away technically none of these are are well well hopefully that'd be awesome when these found a block so so these are all them in different colors that's pretty sweet actually they don't have a red one i need a red one my colors are red i need red where's red there's no red here who wants a pink one? Should we have a giveaway on a pink one? <laughs> Four terahash hash at 100 watts. That's pretty. Oh, here it is. 140 watts. Net weight, net rate, power, hash rate. Four terahash. hash. 100. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Damn. That's a nice uh, solo Bitcoin miner. It's cheap, too. If you think about it. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be interesting. Let's see if I get my hands on one of those and see what it looks like. Spray paint. Yeah, I definitely could spray paint it. Could try that out. Uh, throw your C1100 on Team Red Miner Alpha Bitstream. Huge drop in wattage. You know what? I might have to uh, try that out. Huge huge drop in wattage. Oh, I can't turn it on right now. I, I try to do that live right now, but I can't because my breaker will blow. I got too many things going on in this room right now. That would have been a fun thing to maybe play around with. Uh, what do we got here? Today you switched to Cube Miner 1.9 beta. Yeah, I'm not sure which version I got on on my Hive OS versions. Let's find out here. Uh, if I go to my flight sheet, edit. Oh, I'm still on 1.810. Okay. 1.810, I'm still on. So, yeah, I'm not on the new version. That's the one thing I like about the LI pool, though, the QLI pool, is you don't have minor upgrades all the time. You don't have to download new things, look for new wrappers download new software every single week every time they do a tweak it's all done in the binaries and the binaries are pretty much just like the file system and all you and it the miner auto updates all itself if, it's, if you want it instantly once they say it's released all you gotta do is refresh your miner or you can just simply go in and it'll do it all by itself automatically when it goes to switch over from the previous block it's solution it's looking for and goes to the next one it'll update the miner there as well so that's another major bonus about qli that i like is that you know it does everything by itself you don't have to keep on changing all those parameters around and downloading new versions and all this crazy stuff 
Don't spray paint. Yeah, we're just kidding there, Deacon. Uh, you'd start a fire, especially if the thing got hot enough. Uh, what do you think the best CPU build is right now? So basing everything off kind of price to performance and stuff like that. Myself, I've only, well, my last four, five, six builds have only been 7950Xs and 7950X3Ds. I'm phasing out the 3 and 5000 series just due to the efficiencies. They're starting to get dated. They're still pretty good, though. They're not losing, you know, mining power and efficiencies like, say, Polaris GPUs and, like, the 3000 series is about to pretty much die off once that 5000 series comes in because it, there are leaks coming where we're going to see twice the memory bandwidth and memory inside of the 5090 over the 4090 things are going to get insane once the 5000 series drops so you know gpus it's they're all i feel gpus are turning into asics i mentioned this before and now what i mean by that is there's so much hardware out there all the network hash rates are fairly high in theory and there's so much more hardware just waiting to turn back on. So it's really going to come down to efficiency and the best hardware. And that's going to come with the 5000 series, making the Polaris GPUs are slowly already starting to die off, depending on power price. If you have two cent power, three cent power, four cent power, you guys, remember, you can always buy the cheapest crap out there and be profitable. But for most home miners out there, you know, 15 cent, 20 cent, 30 cent power, you're going to need the good, efficient equipment. And that comes in in 4090s and soon to be 5090s. So that's what I mean by GPUs is kind of turning into ASIC mining where you need that latest hardware for the majority of home miners. So, yeah, I don't know, it'll be interesting to say how that plays out. Uh, what do you think? Okay, so, yeah, that was a pretty crazy answer when it came to best CPU build right now. But, yeah, I'm going with the 7950 and 7950X3D. Now, I'm also kind of putting a halt on that, which we talked about yesterday, is I actually want to wait for the 9000 to release now, which should be sometime this year as well, and just see how those perform. And then kind of get an idea, you know, am I going to build 9000 series rigs? Or just stick to 7000 series rigs. In theory, we should see the used market start to load up on 7000 series as gamers do upgrade to the 9000 series. So we could find better deals on those 7950Xs and 3Ds and stuff like that as well um, after that happens. So that's another thing to keep your mind out that we could see uh, nice lower prices on the 7000 series at the end of the year. I can't sing link and send link. No, only mods can send links in chat. Um, so I will not buy this. Uh, I would not buy this Avalon. Jazz miner will soon. Will have soon small BTC miner. Well, they already have some small little one, don't they? Now that'd be interesting because that Avalon miner is good, but Jazz miner, Jazz miner, I, I'm gonna have to say they're probably one of the best manufacturing brands when it comes to hardware efficiency now their firmware updates kind of suck <laughs> you know maybe their support sometimes could suck but you can't deny the fact that the products they have made so far have been the best products to buy for that coin most right now it's mostly only ethash stuff that they've been doing but with the rumors of a litecoin miner and a bitcoin miner coming you know i have very high expectations that bitmain could be in trouble now bitcoin bitmain has the big contracts in the back end selling out their doors like you know all, they always sell their miners out in less than 30 seconds you guys see that when they drop it they're gone in 30 seconds well it was already gone two weeks ago they just announced it publicly. They probably had one miner, if they even had one for sale. And they already sold them like two weeks ago to all their good friends, the giant mining farms out there who ordered thousands of them. They're already out the door to those guys. Now when it's publicly available for the home miner guys who like to use still ASICs at home, you know, they don't even have them in stock, but they say they do. Now available, but it's gone in 30 seconds. That's bit main game. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see Jazz Miner. Uh, come out with some of these other machines because they have been dominating in the algorithms they support. So I have high hopes that they could, S21 could be trashed by the time Jazz Miners comes out, especially for the home miners. Mining farms, Bitmain is probably still the better way to go. But, you know, the home miners, I feel Jazz Miner is the best place to go to it. And if you do want a Jazz Miner, guys, check out Jingle Mining. Link in the description. <laughs> Uh, do you think secondhand GPU prices going down or up, especially RTX 3000, 6000 series? I don't know. You know, that all comes down to, I guess, uh, availability. NVIDIA is really good at playing the availability game. They could have thousands of GPUs in stock, millions. 
but they'll only release like 100 here, 50 there, because they want to maintain the value of their hardware. They'd rather see the value of their hardware stay high instead of selling a whole bunch, which I don't know. As a company, you think you'd want to sell as many as you could, but maybe maybe I don't know how to do that. I, I, obviously, I'm not NVIDIA. But so if they were to release all their stock and then they were sitting on shelves and nobody really wanted it type of thing, obviously, they'd think that would look like a bad thing. No one wants their cards, so they only drop a couple here and there to keep the demand high so everybody always wants to keep wanting cards, but they can't get them. So that's the NVIDIA game. So that's going to be playing into, you know, the prices of older GPUs and stuff. But if they were to release their stock and there was no shortage, it would come down to, obviously, um, GPU mining profitability. Now, if GPU mining profitability really starts to take off once all the hash rate turns in. I really think that's going to be a hard thing to happen. But you never know. Crypto does crazy things. So if that happens, we will definitely see GPU mining prices increase. We may see GPU mining prices increase anyway, just due to the fact that NVIDIA holds back all their supply also. So those two factors are definitely going to cause an increase in GPU prices. But again, no one's really going to want to buy them on the miner side if we're still not seeing that great of profitability. I feel in this bull run, GPUs will probably be the last place thing that will be high in the profitability. It'll still be profitable, but it's probably going to be in the at the bottom end compared to CPUs, ASICs, and FPJs. They're going to be making quite a bit more. But again, we don't know. We'll see. Uh, waiting for blocks miner. Go Jack. <laughs> Did you order a blocks miner? That will be interesting. Let me know how it works because I have no idea. But uh, it, that, that's a crazy thing. I'll look into it more though because that is interesting, but I really don't know what they got going on there. Uh, what's up, Rabbit? I'm foaming at the mouth. <laughs> what, foaming at the mouth? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Foaming at the mouth. What's happening? Uh, knowing NVIDIA, instead of lowering prices, they would rather scrap the cards for metals. Yeah, exactly, Zapire. That's what I mean. NVIDIA's been playing a very bad game. Even when Eth went to POS, there was still no supply of anything. Even though the GPU mining demand was down... And everyone was giving, well, not everyone, but, you know, people were giving up and we were in a bear market. There's still no GPUs to buy because they kept holding back the stock so they could sell one or two a week. But it makes everyone want that demand and they can keep their prices high, which makes no sense. So when, like, yeah, I'd rather sell a million GPUs, you know, at minor profits than a couple GPUs at stupid profits or something. I don't know. I don't know what they got going on there, but they do this crazy supply thing. What are you mining on your K10 Plus, the Super Scalar, the Coal Engine P2X? So I have that off and on because, again, power limited. I can't test all this stuff at once because I don't have much power unless I start turning off some CPUs and stuff. And if I do that, I'm not going to find some solutions. Then I'll go broke, bankrupt, and living on the street. So I can't do that. I keep my CPUs on, finding them solutions. And, you know, I turn it off and on sometimes. When I do turn it on currently, it does mine a lithium. But Alephium will be going ASIC here very soon, as we saw the announcement from Goldshell. So we are going to be... There are new algorithms coming. I, it does have Carlson Hash support, so you can mine those Carlson Hash coins. Pyron Hash, I think, is supposed to be coming. I don't know if they're working on something else right now as well, but we'll see. Must be <laughs> running a video. Uh, Alephium ASIC... Uh, Alephium is ASIC making it worthless. It's hard to say though. Look at Caspa. It's still the most profitable coin to mine on ASIC, and ASICs have been on it for a while. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency in the world, is ASIC. And then, you know, Caspa started to explode once ASICs hit it. Maybe Alephium will start going to $10, $15, $20 once ASICs hit it. We have no idea. We have no idea how these things are going to play out, but. It is coming down to be an ASIC coin here. And the early batch, whoever gets those miners early, are going to make a lot of money. And then the FOMO drivers in after that, obviously the profitability is going to be dropping fairly fast if you've seen anything with Casper. But it does have the advantage of the block reward not dropping every month like Casper. So really we have to watch out for the network hash rate. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting moving forward. Uh, Alephium is doing crazy the a lithium chain is interesting they got 16 different chains running at the exact same time with different difficulties across them all that is insane and then you're 
every miner is constantly switching to different chains. That's like mining 16 different Bitcoin chains, and you can hit in lower hash ones, and it's crazy. It's crazy how they got everything going on that coin. I still got to look into it, but I think Alephium will do good things. It doesn't matter what kind of hardware, type of hardware mines it. Technically, ASICs are more official. It's efficient. They, you can mine more for less power, but... Yeah, I, I think Alephium will actually go up quite a bit in price once that happens. Um, you're mining Alephium on your K10? Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people, everyone's trying to get all the Alephium they can right now before those ASICs do hit. Uh, have you heard Shibu INU's creator Shaitoshi followed and bought a bag of micro cap coin called Kendu? No, I don't really follow stupid meme coins around much. <laughs> don't worry, I no offense, I'm not saying... Stupid meme coins ain't any bad effect on anybody that does anything with meme coins. I just call every meme coin a stupid meme coin because that's what they are. I We just went through this yesterday. I did buy a stupid meme coin. And I do have some SHIB, a stupid meme coin, from Unminable way back when Ethereum was around for mining on a couple of days. But, you know, most part, I don't usually follow what happens between stupid meme coins. <laughs> uh. I sold all my mine coins into Caspa. Use of putts. He's hoping that. $1 Caspa. Let's go, right? That'd be awesome. You know, there's going to be so many more millionaires and rich people if Caspa hits a dollar. Uh, hits a dollar there. There's like, what is it? Uh, is it Greater Good Mining, I think, has a bunch? Uh, so a few other people, they have over 600,000 to a million Caspa coins from early, early batch of ASICs. They got very lucky. Like, it was insane. They got a lot of Caspa. So there are a few people who got the ASICs really early. Even though it was mostly mined, like over 60 or 70% mined before an ASIC even came out, whoever got the early batches of ASICs, they got mad amounts of coins. Insane amounts of coins if you really got in there early. It's crazy. It's, I don't have that much. I only have, like, I don't even know, like 60 or 70,000 coins. Not very much at all compared to a lot of people out there that are in the hundreds of thousands. So a dollar cast would be pretty darn sweet. Friend coin is less stupid meme coin. It's GPU proof of work. That's true. You don't. Uh, at least you got the proof of work thing working for you as well. <laughs> uh, no, and your K10 Plus will be worthless. No, that there's going to be some coins I can still mine. They're still profitable. K10 Plus is probably... I'm going to have to say it's probably the best FPGA in the market right now. It's freaking a dominant miner for FPGAs. And it, it, they, and think with Superscaler, they stay up to date on bit streams pretty fast. So you got that working for you as well. And FPGAs, it's just like any other coin. Now, I consider FPGAs the middle. The middle transition miner. Like, you know, I like to mine with anything. It doesn't matter. I'm not stuck on only CPUs. I have no problem shutting off my entire CPU farm, turning on my GPUs and other things if that's making more. It's all about looking for the money, looking for the profits. That's how I run my channel. That's how I run my mining farm. I'm always trying to see what's going to make me the most on the amount of power that it uses. So if it does turn back into GPUs, I will shut my CPUs off in a heartbeat, turn on my GPUs again. It's that easy. Now, with all that considered, diversity, having a little bit of everything so you can turn on what at what time. You obviously have to be active as well. But this is where I think FPGAs really fit in. Look at what happened with Caspa when it, when it was still GPU mineable. Then the bit streams came. Those FPGAs were raking in the Caspa like crazy. People who got uh, had FPGAs and got on that early, they got a lot of Caspa as well. Not as much as the early ASIC, but quite a bit in between that transition. The same thing here with Alephium. They're in that transition now for the past who knows how long. They're soaking up a lot of Alephium before the ASIC hits. So that's where the FPGAs really come in. Now we got Kyla coin and other coins out there as well. There's going to be other coins that transition between the two, whether it's the next bear market, the peak of this bull market, whenever. But that's just another transition of hardware to have is going from the CPU, GPU, FPGA in the middle, and then to the ASIC. You hit that stage in between, and they do make lots of money. But it's all about paying attention to the coins, what they're going to do, what their roadmaps are, and you really... And, you know, um, what the Bitstream devs are working on and things like that. 70,000 cast you set for life. No, that's not that much. That is small compared to everyone else I've been talking to. They have 100, 600,000 cast, but 800,000 cast, but 3 million cast. But, like, 
early some people that got those miners early they got a lot of freaking cast but i was really late to the party on that and uh, you know i feel i have a very small bag I think I see. Look at DJ Mines has 155,000 Casper guys. That guy, he, he he needs a million. He wants a million. Greater good mining. I think I think he's at least 600,000. I think that's what he said. And he mined that in like a month because those ASICs were so insane early on. It's crazy stuff. You know, Casper to a dollar is going to change a lot of people's lives. I feel that's going to be a huge increase now. I'm wondering what that'll look like as well. If the say it does, if Castle pumps to a dollar, how many you're selling or how many people? Because there's gonna be posts everywhere. Oh, Casper hit a dollar, two dollars next. It's easy five dollars. You're gonna see that. You're gonna see easy five dollars, easy ten dollars. All we did was have to break one dollar. Now it's going easily to ten. Ignore all those people. Ignore them. You know, maybe it will go to ten dollars in like thirty years or something, but you know what? Who's going to be selling at a dollar? I'm wondering if this is going to turn into a cadena where we're going to see a spike shoot up and then everyone sells. Boom. Done. And then we have to wait for another bull cycle for it to come in. Remember, guys, if you see your coins doing your thing, you know, obviously you can hodl for the next two or three cycles. You know, another four years, it'll go even bigger. But you're going to take your profits this year. You're going to take them next cycle. How are you guys going to do it? It's all up to you. I'm not I'm not here for any financial advice, but if I see my bags pumping, I'm gonna be selling. I'm telling you that right now. So don't say rabbit dumped. If I see Zef go to four hundred dollars, done. Sold. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Wait, Doge broke twenty? Yeah, it's, it was at like twenty one, twenty two cents last week or something. Wasn't it? Didn't Doge do that? Doge has been doing some things. All Elon has to do. All we need is a peak bull run and Elon to go Doge to the moon or enable Doge payments on X. And next thing you know, the $1 Doge. Let's do this. <laughs> crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Do you guys think Doge will hit a dollar? I think that's another one. It got pretty close last cycle. Do you think it'll do it this cycle? You're killing me. LL sold. Done. <laughs> but, well, I, I'm not denying. I'm not hiding anything. That's kind of the thing I tell. But, like, you know, even with all those meme coin people I see on Twitter... They're always trying to pump their bags, pump their bags, pump their bags. And then they use you as liquidity because they say, oh, this person said this person has a million followers. It's probably a bot anyway. And they said this coin's going on. Everyone's saying this. So many people are talking about this coin. I better buy some. And then they sell it and it just dumps on you. That's the meme coin market. I'm, I'm not hiding anything. I'm telling you guys, if you see a coin pump for a solid two weeks to a month, most likely you're going to hit an all-time high. If we look at the charts, let's look at some of this. Usually that's the dictating factor. It takes about a month of solid pumps to hit its all-time high. And if you see that happen this year, it's probably hitting its all-time high this year. Sell your damn coins. But not financial advice. Do your own thing. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you right now, if I see my bags pump quite a bit here, I, I will be dumping my entire crypto portfolio. I'm not holding through a bear market. Bear market is to... Buy all your hardware again. Cover your power costs, whatever. Bull market is to sell your coins, get all that extra power. I already have everything worked out. To run my entire farm right now, plus a little extra, I'll need about $35,000 in order to run it for the next four years after this bull run to lead up to the next one. So I'm going to need at least $35,000 to mine 24-7 at my power price to run to mine through the entire bear market and get ready for that bull run again. And you know, that's just planning and stuff you gotta do. So I already know I need at least $35,000 this bull run to cover my power through the entire next bear market. And now we're gonna come into here, let's just look at something like, I don't know, what's coin? Let's go Raven. How long did Raven coin? Let's go look at Raven coin, for example. We'll look at its all all last all time high here. We're just gonna come back into here. We're gonna bring it up closer to here. So this was in obviously 2021, but look when it started pumping. It was like nothing, nothing, then gone. Rocket ship. This is the altcoin bull run. It'll be nothing, nothing. Oh, Ravencoin sucks. Never going to do anything. Blah, blah, blah. Rocket to the moon and then nothing. We're done again type of thing. Well, this is all right here, but you know what I'm mean? saying? The, the all-time highs were right here. So here's how long it took. So it started going up right here on, what is that? February 1st, 2021. And then it hit its peak here. February 20th. So look at that. About two, three weeks of solid pumping. And then it came down. Obviously, it came up a couple times again. But this was the peak right here. So you want to sell somewhere in here. Two and a half weeks of pumping or something. Yeah, sure. It went up this far 
Say you would have sold in here. It went up this far, but guess what? Say you would have followed everyone on Twitter that was saying it's going to go higher. Now you're still holding it right here. Sell in at this part. You see a good two, three week pump on your coin. Take them profits. It's probably hitting an all time high. Just, just watch it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now let's try another coin. Let's look at Flux. Now look at this one is really early. Raven coins all time high. Well, like we just said, this was February of 2021. Remember, Bitcoin didn't hit its all time high till the end of the year, like seven months after Raven coin hit it. So altcoins, they can be up to a year before that, which is why this year we could see some of these altcoins, even maybe the meme, stupid meme coins hit their all time high this year. And others could happen after Bitcoin hits its all time high, which usually will end up at the end of next year. So coming into this, let's look at Flux now, what it did. Is this the right Flux? Did they change their symbol? This ain't Flux. What is this? Where's... What the heck is that coin? Flux right here. There we go. So let's take a look at this one. All right, coming into this one here. Uh, let's go to all. Let's go look at its all-time high. Let's bring this in closer to see how long it took. So here we are. So it started a rally back in here, but the real we're, we're talking pump. We're not talking, okay, it's up 5%, 10%, 11%. We're talking like 20% constantly for a few days on a time here. So right now we can see, so this is uh, November of 20. So this is when Bitcoin was in its all-time highs right here and Flux was still low. But then all of a sudden right here, we can see it just shot up. Oh, actually this is still November here, but November 3rd to November 11th. So that was actually only like a one week, week and a half pump. That was a pretty good one, 56 cents to 240. And then it came down and it hit its all time high here in January 4th at 289. I thought Flux went higher than that. Is that all Flux really hit? Let me see this. Is this for real? I thought Flux hit like $3 or something. Did it only peak at two? Hey buddy, stop showing me your watch. Am I running out of time here or something? Like what's going on? This is my stream, not yours. 285, is that? I thought Flux hit over $3. Okay, anyway, the point is here, we can see the spike happen. I would have sold in here because this is the solid spike. Yes, it wasn't the all time high, but you're not gonna be able to sell at an all time high. If you're trying to hit, if you're trying to hit the top, it's already done, it's at the top. Liquidity is on the way down. People are selling. You can never sell at the all time high. You wanna sell when the volume is there and everybody's buying the coin. As it pumps up so here would be the solid gain this is a week and a half two weeks solid gain you would have wanted to sell in theory now it's easy to say this stuff when we can see the past of what already happened we don't know what will happen in the future but yeah i thought flux went a lot higher anyway this run what do you guys think flux could hit this run i'm thinking i'm thinking it could do four or five dollars this run you know maybe more i don't know it's hard to say but it'll be cool if it does things like that but you know the point is regardless if you see a coin pumping for a couple weeks at a time it's probably getting pretty damn close to the all-time high it doesn't matter what bitcoin is doing at that point in time the altcoin bull run is insane it could happen at the spear of a moment and you never know when it's going to happen so keep these things in the back of your mind don't listen to anybody that says it's going to keep going higher it's going to keep going higher they're just using you for exit liquidity Yeah, I don't know why he's pointing out his wrist. I thought he was pointing out a watch or something. He's like, hurry up, hurry up. He's like, no, buddy, this is my stream. I'll tell you when I'm going to end my stream. <laughs> uh, anyway, what did I miss here with my little rat there? Does anyone agree? No, let me know. You guys disagree with that? Agree with that? DJ Mines, what do you, what's your opinion on the whole situation? I'm not a trader. I'm just going to what I've seen in the past and... DJ knows how to read charts. He's a trader. He knows he's a stock guy. He knows how to read these crypto charts things. He knows what's going down. If he's having a live stream later and he's talking about it, I encourage you guys all to go check that out because he knows what's going on. <laughs> uh, what do you think about VAR? VR. VAR. Is that the pirate chain thing? R? You know, R. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that either. I haven't really been trying other coins because I've been making too much on Cubic. That's the truth. It's just been made. It doesn't make sense for me to try any other coins because I've just been making too much. So you sell it. It's funny. I've just been making too much, but it's true there. I'm making over $120 a day. Like my power cost is like $10 a day, $12 a day on that. So, you know, I'm over 90 some dollars a day after power. 
I do sell some of that and I cover my power with it. And then I also, you know, I swap that into Zeph because Zeph isn't making as much, but I want more Zeph. So I swap it into Zeph. I've been buying Zeph. I've been buying Zeph at $19, $22, $16, all over the place. I've just been buying Zeph, hoping in hopium that it's going to see some super spike, kind of what XMR did. Again, doesn't mean it's going to happen. It might not do anything. Maybe it already seen its all time high. Like I said, some coins might hit its all time high this year. Maybe Zeph did it at $50. And now I'm just in a hopeless dream. But, you know, I'm still waiting to see how this is all going to play out. And the block rewards, the emissions, everything on Zeph is going to be dropping soon. Eventually, it's going to have tail emissions, just like XMR, where the block reward is only 0 0.6. That means it's going to be very hard to get yourself some Zeph. So get it while you can now and just use whatever method is best for you. Um, Zeph to 100, at least, at least. Remember, guys, remember... We, we got to bring this up all the time now. Let's go to XMR. Look at XMR. And Zep has been outperforming XMR in 2016. And that's what I'm comparing this to is 2016. What's going on here? Why is this? Monero. Bring this down. So I'm comparing this to 2016 XMR. So we're coming in right here. And look at 87 cents, a dollar, two dollars. This is where Zeph was. Up until Zeph really ran into that $50 pump there out of nowhere, I don't know what happened, but it was only sitting around one to two dollars the entire time when I was mining, like 50, 60 cents when it first came out. And that's what XMR did for a long time. Then all of a sudden, you know, 10, 12 dollars here, which Zeph went to 50, now it's hovering around 16 to 12 and so on. And then what happened? This is in 2016, remember? So right now, this is right now in the time frame of the cycle. 2024 is the same as 2016. Just like 2020 is the same as 20, uh, 2016 and 2024 right now as well. And the bull run is next year. The big peak of the whole market is next year, 2025, 2017 right here. Kaboom. Look what happened to Monero. Shoom. $419 from 50 some cents not even a year before that which is where we are right now in zeph we're right here in zeph and we're expecting this now this is expecting doesn't mean it's going to happen but this is what i am hoping for and that's why i'm trying to stack as much as i can could be definitely the wrong call it could be a freaking amazing call we have no idea that's crypto but that's just what i'm doing right now and seeing you know hopefully it works out in my favor maybe it won't we'll see Dare I say Zeph is stable? <laughs> no, don't. Unless the unstable means to the to the moon and then it blows up. I'm okay with that. If it takes a rocket ship to the moon and then explodes and goes to nothing, as long as you took the profits as it was on the way up, you're okay. You're okay with that. Remember, guys, couple week pump. Take them profits. Solid pumps. Take the profits. It can explode all at once after that point. If you got your profits and it dies after that. You're laughing with a big smile. Who cares about what people on Twitter are saying, what people on YouTube are saying, including myself. It's not going to go higher. Well, it might. You never know. It might. Look, imagine the people that sold Bitcoin at eight cents, you know, and $5, $0.08, cents, $5, $10. Right now, that looks amazing. But the same thing can kind of play out here. These coins could go to absolute phenomenal prices over the next few cycles. But you could also pull your profits now, wait for the bear market, because we do know a bear market will follow even after this bull run, and then get a lot more coins for that. You know, So just run the cycles the way they normally run. Um, all those <laughs> talking about VAR and Zeph, I'm still thinking about Luna. Get your bags up, brokies. Luna! Luna, isn't there a Luna 2 now or Luna Classic or Luna something? I don't even know. Luna. I don't know about this Luna operation. 10,000 BTC pizza. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh? Crazy stuff like that. Who would have thought? How about that one guy that's trying to find any way he can for that $2 billion excavation in that dump about this Bitcoin hard drive he threw out? Oops. <laughs> like, I doubt that thing's even still there. It's been crushed and lost. Like, I have no idea. Uh, will there be another cycle, though, with the ETFs in place? Yes, I, I, it, the cycles, it's always 
it's always the same thing every time. It's different this time. It's different this time. It's different this time. And you know what? So far, what I've seen, I've seen everyone say it's different this time, and I've never ever seen it different this time. It's always been the same. The prices get a lot higher, and it lasts usually a little longer and stuff, but it always happens the same same way. Four years, four years, four years. Did it three times in a row. Still going to do it. Now, the ETFs. They sparked an early Bitcoin bull run in theory, but we're still not in a bull run because none of that money is in crypto. None of it. That's not crypto money at all. We're not in a bull run. Everyone say, oh, Bitcoin's at a new all-time high. We're in a bull run. We're not. That's a false bull run, 100%. Now, again, I'm not a trader. I don't know this, but that money is not in crypto. It's going to Grayscale and BlackRock and all these guys who have the ETFs. And what's going on is they're buying shares of Bitcoin on the stock market in Wall Street, and then Grayscale and whoever they buy it through has to buy and sell Bitcoin on that. That money is only going to the stock market, then going to Grayscale, and going to Bitcoin up and down. It's not touching Flux. It's not touching Raptorium. It's not touching Zeph. It's not touching Solana. It's not touching any other coin. Only Bitcoin, and it's only going based on what the traders on Wall Street are doing. That's why I'm still saying the bull run is not until the end of this year is when it's going to start with all these altcoins and everything else like a normal cycle does. Everything you see with the Bitcoin hype right now is bogus and false. Not happening. It's ETF manipulation right now, and that's just Wall Street money playing with people's minds and trying to take more of your money away. So, no, we are not in a bull run yet. It's at the end of the year. The ETFs are just making it look like an early manipulation scale, but wait till the end of the year the normal cycle will start to play out again so we'll see what happens but that's my two cents i could be 100 percent wrong on that look at retro mike btc is, is is made to spend spend it all there you go well, that's all the crypto guys this is supposed to be new currencies new ways to undermine the traditional uh, fiat system and that's what it's used for use your crypto buy stuff i live like i literally live off my crypto off my mining I sell crypto all the time. I swap it to Litecoin. I swap it to BTC. I swap it to whatever. And hold on. Oh, I just had a sneezing fit. Good thing my mute button is fast. But yeah. So, you know, I swap it to whatever and I use it. I buy hardware utilizing my crypto. Sure, a lot of it I swap over to Fiat. But the point is I got it all from mining and from crypto. It's all coming. It's all income source through crypto so you know use it spend it upgrade your farms do whatever you got to do that's what crypto is supposed to be there for um okay for all coins i can agree but btc i'm not so sure <laughs> uh Chiris wouldn't even got a slice of pizza back in the day uh, you're not even truly in crypto unless you overspend crypto on tangible assets uh and uh, you die for, I agree that cycle is still good. Yeah, I, I really think the cycle is still going to play out the way it should. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, so we've been here for a while. The throat is getting a little bit on the dry side right now. And I'm starting to go through some season, sneezing fits, so that sucks. Spring allergies might be kicking in. I don't think I'm allergic, but it might be. Anyway, guys, I do actually, nope, just like yesterday, I messed up. I got to jump into over here and see what people are talking about. First time, Jack. Uh, what do we got? Shotcat zero here. Why my cubic mining GPU doesn't always show zero zero soul? Like every three seconds, it shows only ITs per second, but not the soul count. I'm not sure because GPUs are, I think it's fake hash and it's not really doing what they're supposed to do. But no, I don't mind on my GPUs. I've just been using my CPUs and I have no issues there. So I think it's still mostly a GPU thing. Um, I will have to look into it more and talk to more people that are utilizing their GPUs on cubic, but... I'm not really sure. It could just be a display bug, an API bug or something. Just check the pool. See if it's actually showing up on the pool if you found a soul. But as for the miner, it could just be some type of glitch. I've been stacking Doge for the past few years. Case Rocker, nice. Case Rocker has low, medium, and high settings. Oh, it has different settings for that. You snagged one of the $97 ones and one of the 28 ones last night. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I was not aware about it. I'm going to have to look into those solo Bitcoin miners. See what that information is all about. But anyway, guys, I do appreciate everyone for showing up to this live stream i will see you guys all in the next one wrap it out
Oh no, and that entire time I'm never gonna get logged back in again. Look at this. Uh oh, this is this this sucks. This sucks. I'm not gonna get back in the game anymore. Join, join, join. I know. Last minute credit stuff. Checking, 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 and fall. No. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming. Out. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>